Hello everyone, welcome to the XAR template channel. This is lesson number 15 for the XAR Web Designer 365 Premium Software. And in this lesson, we're gonna be taking a look at the new ability to control your bulleted list within your workspace. And this basically is gonna be a example of the updates that were added to give you more ease of use and control over creating a bulleted list. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you wanna do is go to your toolbar and select the text tool. And we're going to click in our workspace and type in some text. In this case, my first word will be Apple. I'll hit the enter key after I type Apple in. And then I'll write orange. Hit the enter key again. I'll write uh, Kiwi. And this is just me creating a bulleted list. We haven't actually added the bullet points yet, but I wanted to first go ahead and type in the text. And I'll add in banana as the last item here. And then I'll hit control A to select everything. And before we actually create our bullets at list, I'm going to decrease the, the vertical distance between each of these uh, items here by going to our info bar and changing the space after paragraph option. So I'm going to set that to probably about a 20. So I'll hit two zero, hit enter, and that's going to set a 20 pixel space between each of these bulleted items. Okay, now they're not bulleted yet, but I call them bulleted items because we're going to convert it to that. So once we do that, let's go ahead and hit Control A to select all of those options and then select the bulleted list option in our info bar and it's going to convert it to a bulleted list. And then this is where we're going to get into those new features that are available for controlling your bulleted list. Let's go ahead and right click on it and select list properties. And once you select that, we'll see the list properties dialog menu. And this is where we're going to have that extra control and ease of use for controlling our bulleted list. So let's take a look. The first component you see here is for numbered list, but we're not going to be dealing with those. So we're going to move down to list item because in this case we have bulleted list items, not a numbered list items. Okay. So in this particular bottom part of the list properties dialog menu, let's take a look at indentations. If we were to push the arrow key to the right, it's going to increase the indentation towards the right. If we click it towards the left, it's going to decrease it towards the left. Okay, if we were to click on the left arrow key for the margin, you'll see that it pushes it outward. If we push it towards the right by clicking on the right arrow key, you see that it pushes the margin inward. Okay, if we were to click on size in, in the drop down menu for that and select maybe 64 pixels, you'll see that we get a really huge uh, bulleted list. In this case, they're actually really close to each other. So in this case, when you have a situation like that, you're going to want to go to the space after paragraph in our info bar and if we go inside that menu and highlight it and then put in a bigger number like maybe 60 pixels you'll see that now we have enough space between each bulleted list now the problem with this for these bullet points with the spacing is that unfortunately with the bigger size it's kind of offset upward rather than even with each of the the text items that we have here so in this case what we would need to do is actually decrease that vertical offset and that's where this vertical offset option comes into play so if we were to push this downward by pushing on the downward key here you'll see that we start to get a better alignment for the vertical alignment for these bulleted item lists so the next thing that we want to do is take a look at the color if we click on the edit key for color you'll see that it brings up the color editor and we'll have the ability to change the color and as we change this it all happens in real time so the colors that we change here reflect in our workspace. In this case, maybe we'll give it a bluish green color and then we'll close the color editor out. So now we have a different color bulleted list that has the proper vertical offset so that it looks really nice and neat. Now, now that we've created our own custom bullet list using the built-in features, let's take a look at replacing it with the font symbol. So if we click on the replace with symbol option here, it's gonna bring up the font awesome items here and we'll be able to select a custom uh, bulleted list from the font awesome icons. So in this case, I'm gonna scroll downward because I wanna use a check mark. And I found my check mark here, so I'm gonna left click on that. And you'll see that now it replaces it with a check mark. And we can also still control the other variables that we did before with using the font awesome icons. So if I went in and I changed the size to maybe a 14, you'll see that it sizes it down to really small or I can increase it back to really you know, medium size, so 28 pixels. But again, we have a vertical offset issue, so what we wanna do here is push that upward so that we can get a better alignment with those items that are in our list. 
okay so the next option that we have here is replace from clipboard and basically what this allows you to do is create your own custom design bulleted list by drawing a shape or a picture whatever it may be in your workspace and then you would copy it from the clipboard and when it says copy from clipboard or replace from clipboard it's literally meaning that when you copy an object in your workspace it will then give you the option to replace the bullets at least you currently have with that item that you just copied. So let's go ahead and show you an example of how that works. We go to our uh, toolbar again and select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in our workspace or a square in this case and hit control C to copy it to our clipboard and then we're going to go ahead and select our selector tool in our toolbar double left click inside our bulleted list and then in this case we're going to select the option that says replace from clipboard because we just copied this uh, square by hitting control C while we had it selected and when we hit replace from clipboard it's going to replace it with that square so let's go ahead and left click on replace from clipboard and you'll see that now we have squares as our bulleted list in this case unfortunately the the squares are too close to each other so what we need to do is adjust the paragraph spacing afterwards so let's go ahead and hit control A to select all the bullets it list and then in our paragraph spacing in the info bar we're going to adjust that to maybe 60 pixels so now we have a proper spacing here so that it doesn't look like everything is squished together and you already know how to adjust the vertical offset if we wanted this to be better we just simply push it up a little bit so that it will look correct so I'm just going to push mine up a bit more so we have something that looks somewhat decent so now we have a bulleted list that looks kind of neat here and doesn't look super out of place so the last option that you have here is to reset to the default list items but before we do that let's go ahead and take a look at the size component for this custom bulleted list that we use from the clipboard can we adjust that is the big question and the answer is unfortunately no so if I were to go in and change this to uh, 96 pixels you'll see that nothing happens even if I hit control a inside of the bulleted list and I try to change the the variable for size it does not change so when you create a custom bulleted list if you want to change the size you're gonna to have to change the size in your workspace for that original object so in this case if we select the selector tool and select that original object and we make it smaller and we hit control C to copy it to the clipboard double left click inside our bulleted list and then say replace from clipboard by clicking on that and you'll see that now our bulleted list becomes smaller so in terms of the size variable you cannot control that when you create a custom bulleted list also if we wanted to control the the color you'll see that that's grayed out we cannot control the color so again if you want to change the color all these parameters will have to be set outside of your bulleted list so in this case if I select that uh, square and hit control E to bring in our uh, color editor and change the color to whatever I want it to be close it out hit control C to copy that object select inside our bulleted list and select replace from clipboard you'll see that now it changes the color so that is one of the disadvantages when you use a truly custom built bulleted list is that you have to control it outside of the bulleted list but nonetheless this is still a lot much easier process than what we had to do before if you watch the original custom bulleted list uh, video that I made a while ago this is many many times much easier so once you're done with this let's say that you decide that you don't like the bulleted list that you have if you click inside this bulleted list you can set the option to reset to default list items and that will reset it to the default bulleted list so I hope that you guys got a general idea of how to work with bulleted lists and basically the same thing would apply to the numbered list except you wouldn't have as much control over uh, how everything looks so if we were to uh, select this bulleted list by hitting control A inside of the um, the bulleted list and then we went to the numbered option in our info bar and clicked on that it would convert it to numbers okay and in this case as I said there's a little bit limited control over it you don't really get to make it look you know quite as I guess fancy as the the shape stuff where you can control the the size of it in terms of the um, I'm staying correct and I'm sorry you can actually change the size I thought that you couldn't change it but in this case it looks like you do have the exact same control so I do apologize for that misinformation there um, you do still have control over the same variables it looks like that you did for 
the uh, bullets to list. The only thing that you cannot do in this case is actually replace it with symbol um, for certain certain components. So if you scroll through here, at least from what I can see on my computer, there isn't any um, bullets to list option for numbers. And, and if I'm incorrect, please correct me if you do find something in here. But from what I saw when I scrolled through the different items for the icons, there isn't a number. There isn't a numbered list that you can insert. I don't even think there's a lettered uh, list that you can create. So for numbered lists and for letter based lists, at least at this particular time of re record, me recording this video, that is not a option. So you do have full control over it just like the bulleted list you just don't have any fun awesome icons that replace that will replace your uh, letters or numbers for your your uh, list so hopefully that makes sense but other than that you'll have full control i hope that this video was helpful and if it was don't forget to embed comment share and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos if you're currently not a part of our Patreon page, please make sure you check that out. Any support that you give us will help us improve the quality of our YouTube channel as well as the frequency at which we release new videos. And in addition to that, you'll have access to exclusive videos as a Patreon supporter that won't be available to regular YouTube viewers. And also you'll have some say so in the direction that we take this channel.